Hello guys, Brickley here, and today we have more leaks, so stay tuned to find out more. If you do enjoy the video, why not like the video as well as subscribe and turn on notifications, but let's get into it. So back in 2021, we got LEGO Marvel Minifigures Series 1, which was probably the best ever LEGO CMF series, and a lot of people have been wondering when Series 2 will be coming, and that's all about to change. 71039 is expected to be LEGO Marvel Series 2, and this one should be the third CMF series of 2023, releasing on September 1st, 2023, which is amazing news that we are getting a follow-up to such a good series. But the downside is, this will be the first minifigure series which will appear in boxes. We don't exactly know how how, well, how these will look but these should be smaller than the ones we currently see for lego super mario probably in a similar style to what you see on screen now but i know there'll be a lot of excitement about finally getting marvel series 2 we don't know any of the characters yet but i presume it'll be 12 per series and given we're getting series 24 in january a really strong series plus the disney 100 series in may and then a third uh, second marvel series is a really good year for cmf so lots to look forward to even though they are going to be boxes from next september and then we got a look at a brand new lego set this one being the birthday Diorama. You can see this one features two children in a birthday setting, having a birthday party. This one, we have no clue how it's going to be distributed yet, but I presume a gift we purchase or a set you can just outright buy. It is set number 40584. But here's what is cool about this one, as you see from the back of the box art, this one looks like you can flip it around to have a different setting for the background, which is really cool. So you can different wallpaper. So they're really fitting a lot of customization into these tiny Lego play sets, as this looks to be only like 100 to 150 pieces, but not a bad little set at all. And I presume this will be available at some point within the next few months and then we got some more information about some brand new lego superhero sets for next year one which definitely stands out to a lot of people is the 200 dollars set which includes 3128 pieces and is going to be an 18 plus set could this potentially be a brand new modular building we'll have to see that one i think should launch around august or september and then the lego advent calendars are a tradition for a lot of people every year and that won't be changing in 2023 as we know the themes which will be getting an advent calendar next year so i'm not surprised the usual stuff Star Wars, Harry Potter, Friends and City are all getting advent calendars, but Marvel will also get another one next year, which is exciting as that will be the third year for that theme. And then Lego Super Mario, we don't often talk about it too much as it is the theme and more at kids, but we have got the information based on next year's sets, which are launching in August. And as you can see, these are a little bit different than we've normally seen. We can see from the list there isn't expected to be no brand new starter go set, as well as no more of the character packs, which are like the $5 blind boxes, which potentially suggests Lego is moving away from the brick format from Super Super Mario and could be our first minifigure wave. Of course, it just could be that they don't need another starter set or character packs, and it's still the normal building course. We'll just have to see, but potentially it's giving a lot of hope to minifigures when those are launching in August. And then on top of all that, we got some new LEGO Star Wars 2023 info. The info is slowly coming out over the few weeks that we've had. So you can see there is a $200 set, which is going to be 18 plus with 2,320 pieces. So we are getting another 18 plus Star Wars set, which will be really good. Kind of a smaller one. I presume that one will be some sort of vehicle or diorama. Also a 155 piece set, which we don't know anything about. Both of those launch in August. And I think they're anything like the January wave for LEGO Star Wars. A lot of people are going to be happy with those, given how popular they've been. And of course, next April, we are getting the return of Lego Indiana Jones, which so, so many people are excited about. 77015 is the $150 set. It looks like that has now got a price increase going up to $170 when it launches in April. We now have a piece count of 1,545 pieces. A lot of people are hoping this one is the bolder escape as it is going to be some sort of 18 plus set. So I think that one would look amazing as a display model. We'll have to see, but we aren't too long away now from the return of that theme. And then for future Lego magazines, a really good one is coming for the Star Wars one as we are getting in Boca Tan. This one should be available in January and February in Europe and it is really a good way to get that minifigure at such a cheap price given how it was only in like a $60 set which is really good. And then for the Minecraft one we are getting a minifigure and also an anvil and also a chest so once again Minecraft giving us really good value for those magazines. That one also should be coming out January and February time. And then for the other city we have a little off-road police buggy. We have also a police minifigure. That one nothing too special but it is cool as a city one but definitely the standout for this month's magazines is going to be the Star Wars one. And speaking of Star Wars, we got fish images of the X-Wing Polybag. This one should probably be a gift we purchase around May 4th, or just a start appearing in stores from January where you can buy it for four or five pounds. Similar to that, we got a brand new Minecraft Polybag being the Dripstone Cave, which has two 
pretty generic minifigures, but also a great mob and a little build. That one that's similar, it should be appearing in stores. And we also got a look at the brand new LEGO Dots lineup for next summer. So, so many different sets, quite a lot. Therefore, we normally get for Dots quite a big list. You can see there's loads of them. There is a few aimed around music, which is really cool. And then there is some also unknown ones. So, a lot of stuff coming for LEGO Dots. And then for LEGO Disney, we got some more animation sets on the way, which is exciting. Of course, the animation sets being the minifigure sets. So, as you can see, we also have some piece counts for the others, which have already been rumored. Of course, the one which a lot of people are excited for is the Up House. So, more minifigure Disney set that are coming in the second half of next year. Then, on top of all that, 43220 is going to be a Disney 18 plus set. On top of the one we already know coming with mini dolls in the first half of next year. Hopefully, this is a big one, something to follow up from the Disney Castle, as there is currently a gap on the market for big Disney sets. But a lot of potential is coming with those Disney minifigure sets. And then, moving on to all things LEGO January 2023 promos, we're just a few days away. So, the first promo is the Lunar New Year gift pack. This one available from the 1st to the 25th of January with $50 or £50 spend, really cheap threshold. And then we are finally getting the brand new Blacktron set, which has been rumored for a few months now, been the Blacktron Cruiser. This one is going to be available from January 1st to the 14th with $190 or £170 spend. So a little bit of a difference, quite high, but pretty much a 400 piece promo i think it is and then we are getting a brand new sub theme for lego promos being houses of the world and this one is houses of the world one in terms of getting this one it's going to be available from january 15th to january 25th for a really hefty 250 dollar or 250 pound spend but it's a pretty cool promo and then we are also going to be getting the year of the rabbit promo from january 15th to the 25th for an 85 dollar or 85 pound spend and then another very hyped up one is the brand new bionicle one this one will be available from january 27th to february 9th with a hundred pound or one hundred dollar spends but what's interesting about this one is you can only get it if you purchase monkey kid ninjago friends creator or dots so if you plan on picking any of those up on january 1st you might want to wait a little bit longer to pick them up when you can get the bionicle promo and some other notes the parts packs will be continuing into next year so we will get more room and as i mentioned the houses of the world is a brand new sub theme so we'll be getting some more houses of the world for the same threshold throughout next year and then for the lego paper bag situation the first one has been spotted in one of the avatar sets which is launching in january January. So they are slowly transitioning into these paper bags and you can see what they are going to look like in the set. And then for Lego Sonic a few days ago we got first rumours of a brand new theme launching next August with minifigures but there is also a lot of potential rumour from Promo Bricks that we could be getting a range of Sonic Brickheads. I presume we'll get a single pack of Sonic and then maybe some two packs of maybe Tails, Knuckles, that kind of thing and maybe even Eggman but those will launch in August if they exist presumably when the other sets are launching. And then for a while now we know Visitor Center Attack on the T-Rex is a brand new Jurassic World set launching next summer. It was previously rumored to be a brand new 18 plus set, but it seems it is instead a 12 plus set, meaning it's unlikely another LEGO Jurassic World diorama. Sadly, it will still be coming out worth $120 and should be based around that visitor center from the Jurassic World films. And then that's pretty much it now for what we've seen for LEGO 2022 in terms of all the news. We started off the year with the Avatar rumors for that theme. Of course, all those sets have now been revealed and released. Then we got a leak of the brand new Muppet series, that one really early on from what we normally get. Then as we moved into the summer, we saw some brand new botanical sets and also an architecture lego house set and then we also got a leak at the ucs razor quest sticker also the brand new indiana jones sets and then in the late summer we saw first images of the lighthouse and then we end the year on some brand new lego marvel rumors for marvel minifigure series 2 so it's been a busy year of lots of lego leaks and rumors but comment down below which ones are you most excited for which ones are you not live video subscribe and turn notifications for more videos and lego news videos for the last time this year keep clicking and bricking i'll see you all later guys bye bye